Hi and welcome to History Makers TV. Today we're speaking with Steve Davies from the Bible Society in Queensland. Welcome to History Makers. Hey, thanks Matt. Thanks for having us, mate. Now mate, what's this Can You Hear It All About on your shirt? Well, we've just actually done a, you see behind you, we've done a new website, which is uh, godspeak.org.au. The whole idea of Godspeak is a website that's designed for, for primarily high school students. Mm -hmm. Uh, we do a lot. We have some schools workers that go into high schools, including myself, mm -hmm. and uh, we give out Bibles and stuff like that. But one of the things we wanted to do is leave them with a website that can go a bit deeper into what the Bible's about, give them some answers from the Bible, why you can trust the Bible, that sort of thing. So, Fantastic. Yeah. All right. Now, mate, we're here at Easter Fest. And there's this massive big ute you've just parked in the middle of the showroom here. Yeah, yeah. Tell us about the Jesus All About Life ute. Well, Andrew Fisher, who, who drives in the uh, V8 ute series, mm -hmm. uh, a couple of years ago basically got challenged by God uh, about his witness. So he decided that he'd uh, get involved with the Jesus All About Life campaign, which is a, a Bible Society in New South Wales campaign of promoting Jesus and the Word of God. And, and basically we work with uh, Andrew to go into schools and... Uh, Andrew's produced a little gospel of Luke here and, mm -hmm. and it's got sort of his story in it and some helps and but also and it's the gospel of Luke so we go into schools do a bit of a, a seminar uh, he talks about racing and we got the video with him smashing kids always love the smashes and <laughs> and, uh, and then basically we say look you know if you haven't ever read the Bible why don't you check it out you know yeah. and so so yeah and we just really believe the Bible is the most powerful book in the world but if it's just sitting on the shelf it's, yeah. it's just a book so the real challenge we have here in Australia is to actually get people to to read the thing and yeah. to, to connect with it so. yeah absolutely all right now the church I'm a part of you know New Hope Brisbane yeah. we're very much into journaling we yeah. love uh, reading through the Bible in a year. Yeah. Basically, every day you do two Old Testament passages and one New Testament passage and you know, a psalm or proverb. I've been doing it for two years and it has changed my work with God so much. Um, what do you do for your uh, devotions with God? How do you get into the Bible? <laughs> oh, mate, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a hodgepodge guy. You know, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I've been challenged about journaling and I should do journaling. Yeah, and, yeah. and one of the things we're actually looking at is a journaling program, but I, I, I honestly, I need to get into it because yeah. I'm, I'm one of those guys, I, I sort of read a bit here and read a bit there and 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 it's a great way but honestly I, I, there's got to be a better yeah. way and i yeah. think honestly from the the results you know the good looks of it even just improves yeah. the looks that generally yeah, i mean look what's right. happening no but honestly I, I think and that's something that i'm yeah. I, personally i'm going to have to get into yeah. the journey well, there you guys you heard it i'm going to get steve into journaling soon you know okay. so keep on his case for yeah. me all right now mate you've got an amazing story of uh, coming to christ uh, do you want to share with us how that happened for you? Well, it's a, it's, a, it's a great story considering what I do for a job. I mean, I came from the most dysfunctional family in the world. Uh, uh, we, I, we never went to church, total good pagans in the, in the truest sense of the word. And, uh, and uh, basically came from a family where my mum and dad really uh, didn't get on very well. I had a stepfather. And, and um, by the time I was sort of 15, 16 years old, I was a junkie. I was using all sorts of drugs. By the time I was 17, I was actually using heroin and had no hope, no real answers in life. And, and uh, I was working up in a pub up in Townsville and, I, and uh, a little old lady who was one of the cleaners there was a Christian and she'd read the Bible all the time, day in, day out. And, and I, thought she was a, I thought she was a fruit loop, you know. And uh, one day I plucked up the courage to ask her, why did she read the Bible? And she said, well, Steve, God speaks to me from it. At that point, I thought she was crazy, and, and I avoided her until about, probably about a month later, she came into my room to vacuum my room out, and as she left, she turned around and went here. Then she threw a book at me, and with all my great footballer instincts, I caught it, and it was a Bible. And uh, she was a good Christian lady. She had one of those Lord is my shepherd bookmarks, the ones that Nana gives you, and at the Gospel of Mark, and, and I read it. And... Uh, honestly made sense to me. It wasn't what I imagined it to be. And I didn't become a Christian there or then. It was about a year later after some soul searching, continued to read the Bible. And I got down on my knees and gave my heart to the Lord. And and, uh, and so through the act of someone giving me a Bible and through reading the Bible, I came to faith, independent of church, you know. And uh, the great thing was I caught up with her a couple of years later, and uh, well, about 10 years later, actually. And I asked her why she gave me a Bible. And she said, look, to be honest with you, Steve, I was scared of you. I didn't have any answers for you, but I knew the book had some answers. And, and I asked her where she got the book from. She got it from the Bible Society. So here God's brought me full circle. You know, I'm working for an agency, going to the schools, encouraging other young people to, to connect with the God through the Bible. And, and um, yeah, so... Yeah, fantastic, mate. Now, there might be people watching this now that are thinking, you know... I'm away from God right now. I need to get my life right with God. Yeah. Um, speak to them now. Tell them how they can you know, build that relationship with God. Well, I would say 
check it out for yourself. Don't believe Matt while well, he's got a trustworthy face or myself. <laughs> check it out for yourself. The, the, the New Testament's got a great story, the story of Jesus. You know, start off with the Gospel of Mark or Luke. Read, you know, read about Jesus. You know, be open and, and pray before you read it and say, that's what I did. I said, God, if you're there, speak to me, you know, and, and, that, and God did speak to me. And I think if we, the Bible says if we seek, we shall find. I think a lot of people just t say, get stuff, God, I'm going to do my own thing, you know. But if we're honest with ourselves and we give God equal opportunity, you know, we give a lot of things a shot in our lives. And I think if we give God an opportunity, then he, he said, if we seek, we will find. You know, I don't think there's enough seekers out there. You know, I think yeah. a lot of times the, the world's yelling at us all these different messages and they sort of cloud the message that Jesus has gotten. That's why I would always encourage people to look to the Bible. Because sometimes, you know, as great as your church is and the church I go to, I mean, they're churches and sometimes we misrepresent God. You know, as great a Christian as I try to be, I'm not the best Christian. You know, and some people might even look at me and say, well, you know, look at you, you know, you're not a good example. And, and that's true, at times I'm not. But Jesus is the perfect example. And when you look to Jesus, it gets rid of all the other crud. So, yeah. Fantastic, mate. Well, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, what's, what's the website once again? Godspeak.org? Oh, yep, yep. Uh, can you hear him? And it's godspeak.org.au. Fantastic, mate. You're a history maker. Hey. Thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Thanks.